Your watch looks swell with the new Spidel. Yes, your watch looks grand with a Spidel band. Gentlemen, I was just up there. I was trying to fix all of your aerials, you know. There are so many Western movies on television that they've been shooting the antennas. <laughs> In my house, the, the antennas are all right, but my roof is, is missing. I don't know where. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm only clowning. What I really want to say to you is, that uh, you are about to witness, truly, a most unusual demonstration tonight. Two things, it's a double feature. My show tonight will not only make your eyes bloodshot, but it will also get on your nerves. <laughs> One show will accomplish the two things. I must tell you in the beginning that there is a hero and a heroine in tonight's play, and they live happily ever after. I'm telling that to you, and now, uh, in case your sets break down before the show is over, you know. <laughs> now, in the play, there are a few highlights which I think you should know about. The boy and the girl. Her name is Alice. They're in her living room and they're smooching. <laughs> and the girl's father comes in and says, Alice, what does this mean? And Alice says, well, come back in an hour and I should know by then. <laughs> This, oh, I'm so glad, I'm, I'm glad, I, just the right type, pardon me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an invention of mine. This is a bar of soap. You can actually use half of it in the kitchen and half in the bathroom without breaking it in two. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Now, getting back to the show, ladies and gentlemen, this is most important for you to follow. You must carry the story of the play because the girl's father said to the boy, do you want to marry my daughter? The boy says, yes. The father says, can you support a family? The boy says, yes. The father says, now think hard, because there's seven of us. <laughs> this is a very unusual place. Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. Yes? Could you tell me where to find the reducing parlor? One of them? <laughs> well, yes, you go about two blocks that way, then turn that way and make a sharp turn to the right, you know. And come back here, and you'll find it right behind this curtain. Uh oh. <laughs> I love silly oh. things, you know. <laughs> I beg your pardon? It's all right. Why can't I go right through the curtain? Oh, I never... The writers didn't tell me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This, I think, you will find most unusual. In the play is probably one of the greatest dramatic highlights of the entire theatrical season, where the boy, trying to marry the girl, says to the girl's father, I have brought you three pounds of peanut brutal. The father looks at him and says, you mean brittle. And the boy looks at the father and says, well, with teeth it's brittle, but without teeth it's brutal. <laughs> Just relax, relax and reduce with me. We're off. get the drink later, but you, you will never get any place that way. Can't you see your anchor is dragging here? You'll never get any place that way. Now try it, now try it. There you go, you see? <laughs> You'll be the first girl to ever cross a television channel. <laughs> yes? Is this a good reducing parlor? Oh, this is a tremendous reducing parlor. Oh, it is? Well, uh, yes? what about my weight? Oh, I think I could handle that. But here's the very interesting. See this? You see this lady here? Yes. 
I would like to show you her picture when she first came here, if you want to Why, see. Why, she's tremendous. I've never seen anybody so large in my life. Well, there's more of her on the other side here, too. <laughs> she's still the same girl. Do you really think you can help me to reduce? My dear girl, let me show you my greatest reducing job right here. Let, let me show you this here, if I can get this open. <laughs> that's fine. Will you come out? Here you are. Well, that's kind of short. That's right. <laughs> Now, you see, it is dinosaur now, but two days ago, when I put her in that cabinet, it was Sophie Tucker. <laughs> she has reduced. Now, will you sing a song? Well, Ed, I can't possibly sing in this outfit. Oh, I'll take it off. I'll oh, take... no, my... It's all right. You're on television. There's nobody looking. <laughs> hey, what do you know? How is that? Yeah. <laughs> Tell I me may... about that costume. I may do all my shopping up there. <laughs> you like that, do you? I like it very much. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What do you I'll think? have atmosphere for your song. Oh, I'd love yes. it. Would you bring out the lamppost from Baltimore? I sent all the way to Baltimore for this lamppost. Oh, that's very That's nice. the only city that still happens, you know. <laughs> and look at this here. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't that? Oh, that's wonderful. This is all new. <laughs> wouldn't, it have been, wouldn't it have been simpler if we'd gone to Baltimore? Oh, no. I thought I'd have it moved here for you. <laughs> this is all new. They still left the price tag on this one here. This, <laughs> what are you going to sing? I thought I'd sing Blues in the Night. Blues in the Night? Blues in the Night. No kidding. Yeah. I'm so glad we're here. Just a minute. My cousin in Philadelphia loves to hear you sing that song. Oh, that's good. I don't want him to miss this show tonight. I'll drop him a card. He just loves it. <laughs> you going to sing it? Go ahead. Sing it right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Paint it on there. Uh, <laughs> But when that sweet talking's done, a man is a two-faced, a worrisome thing who'll leave you to sing the blue in the night. Now the rains are falling, hear the trains are calling, my mama. Oh, 
I've been trying for three weeks to reduce this girl. In the last two weeks, she gained 10 ounces. I lost 31 pounds. <laughs> I've told you the only way that you can possibly reduce around here is to take your fingers and with the tips of your fingers touch your toes without bending your knees. It's a slow downward motion like that. I've told you this and, and you, you see what I've told you that so often. <laughs> you know, I, you try it, you try it. Go ahead, go ahead, try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on, go on. Oh, I can't. I'm too big here. Well, there's no getting around that. But I'll, <laughs> here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take the side. You see this here? Look here. Yes, yes. You see this here? See that? See how easy? Look, 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 look. I don't bend my knees. I don't understand that you're so... You're proportioned properly. Twice around your ankle is once around your calf. Twice around your calf, once around your thigh. And twice around your thigh is once around your waist. And twice around your waist and once around Central Park. <laughs> oh, no. Will you, here, will you try it? Just try it. Let me get the perfect form. Go ahead. Now, Ben, do not, now go ahead. Go on. Watch the knee. But hold it, hold it. I got a jack. Wait a jack. <laughs> Check on your gas and oil at the same time. <laughs> I learned, I learned oh, you mustn't do that trick. Oh, yes, what? Don't do that trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. You'll see yourself, don't you? Now, that to me is silly. I mean, where, where will she ever be able to use that? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm, I'm... Say, would you please come back? Come back, darling. I want you to meet Miriam LaBelle. Hi. Jody, this is Miriam LaBelle. Hello. Now, Miriam, I'll tell you. I intend to reduce Jody, you see? Now, if I don't get you down to her size, your weight will be cheerfully refunded, you see? <laughs> now, will you go through your exercises? And we'll go and watch you from the saloon next door. <laughs>
I'm getting ready now to do the advertising, you know. <laughs> this is advertising for the Spidell watch bands. I'm, I'm going to do it. I figured to do it my way because if we did it the way the sponsor wants it, everybody would rush down to a jeweler and, and buy a Spidell watch band. <laughs> I wouldn't have any audience. <laughs> This was my idea. <laughs> you know, I just think it looks better, that's all. I get... <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, I'm just getting ready to do the advertising for the Spidell watch band. Oh, no, you're not. Huh? That's my job. I do all the Spidell. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm going to do the advertising for Spidell watch band. Oh, <laughs> you don't say so. But I just did say so. <laughs> I just this minute said that I was going to do the advertising for Spidell Watch Band. Why, I remember distinctly saying that right here. I said I'm going to do the advertising for Spidell Watch Band. You came on, no more had the last word out of my mouth. You said you don't say so. I claim I did say so. I remember the whole thing. I came on here with the table and the chair. I put them down here. You came on. You said to me, what are you going to do? I said I'm going to do the advertising for Spidell Watch Band. And you said you don't say so. <laughs> Those are the things that upset me. <laughs> well, anyhow, I'm going to do the advertising for Spidell. It's my job. You don't say so. <laughs> I just did say so. I came in and... Here, go! 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 Wait here. Look, let's be fair. Let's be fair. Oh. Now, I'll be fair with you. We'll draw cards. I have a deck of cards. Wait now, a minute, I have wait a card. Minute. Let's use my deck, should we? Well, well I don't exactly crooked. trust you. you well, that's all right. Me. I don't want to shuffle them. <clears throat> Whoever gets the highest card does the advertising. Okay, that's fair The material to me. High card does the advertising. High card does the advertising. Ace of spades. Ladies and gentlemen, when you go to your jewelers tomorrow, be Listen, sure to get I the new Sir Galahad spot. Pardon me. In advertising, the ace is always low. <laughs> <laughs> it's always low in advertising. According to Hoyle, the ace is always high. And I don't give... Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, draw, I'll draw a card there myself. Well, it doesn't matter. No matter yeah. what, what card you draw, it can't be bigger than this. Well, you can't tell. Yeah, here. Now, <laughs> I have the whole thing here. I have dramatized the whole advertising. Actors, actors, come on. Where do you see A whole drama. Would you sit down there? Would you kneel down? Now, you see, he, he is the hero in, in this play. He's the hero. He is the counterfeiter. He only makes bills of one denomination. One denomination? Yeah, $14.95. <laughs> <laughs> because he knows that that will buy a Spidell to go ahead watch band. You see? Shall I get the advertising in? Oh. Now, just a minute. Now, I'll show you. See, I'm the director. <laughs> Start the play. Start the play. Genevieve, will you marry me? No. That's the first act. <laughs> now, wait a minute. <laughs> Stand up. Just, I want to show you. Now, the reason, the reason that she said no to him was because he's wearing this flimsy old, uh, what is it there, it's a leather band there. Instead of wearing a Spidell watch band, he should be wearing a band like this, you see? You see? Because this is not only beautiful, but it's magnificent, and the sponsor likes to hear me say it. You yeah. see? Not only that, is that adds to his wrist the look of strength and power. Well, that's silly advertising. A man's wrist doesn't have to be only strong enough to hold his hand. That, that's silly. That's <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Do the second act. Do the second act. Genevieve, will you marry me? No. See, that's the second act. Now, wait just a minute. Now, let me explain it to you. During intermission, he went down to a jewelry store, and he bought a Fidel Segala hat watch band for $14.95. Now, the big point is this that no matter how beautiful a Spidell watch band is, it doesn't do you any good with a face like his. <laughs> What's the matter with my face? Oh, well, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't... I was only kidding, you ought to know that. That was advertising. Look at my watch. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the sponsor, you know, I won't. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
That's one of Grauman's Chinese, you know. <laughs> well, this is the famous place where they... Oh, look at that. The footsteps of Keaton Wynn. For heaven's sake. Look at the big feet that kid has. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to buy his shoes anymore. <laughs> ah, Dinah. Hello, I'm Ed. so glad I met you. Oh, Why, Minsway? Would you sing again? Oh, well, Ed, you're very sweet, but I don't have a piano or anything. Oh, I have a piano. You stand you here. I have a piano right what? down here in the parking lot. In the parking yeah, lot? You'll be able to see it. You just watch it. Can you see it? Oh, it's the cutest thing I ever saw. Oh, it's that's wonderful. Really <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I should think that would be perfect for salesmen who pedal pianos from door to door. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I should think so. It's very lovely. Do you oh, like it? Oh, it's wonderful. Can yeah. you accompany me on this? Oh, with this piano, I can accompany you any place, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Now, I'll tell you, I'd like to do something unusual. You would? I would indeed. I'd like you to sit on the piano. You want me to I, sit? Well, this is your yeah. first time in television, and I'm so honored. Look yeah. here. How now, do I do it? I, I... Well, I, I have to stay on this yeah. side to balance it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But isn't there a ledge down there? Uh, yeah, I see it, right well, there. Put your left, okay. that, your left foot. Okay. Now, right here, there should be something. Uh -huh. That's a good human man left when I bought the thing. <laughs> and give me your hand here. All right, all right. Don't be afraid. Okay. See, I'm... Oh, I made it. All right. Follow my cab. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had thought of that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. Well, you know, Dinah, I really, I, I wanted your... Uh, what will I say? Your debut in the television will be auspicious. Oh, that's nice. And I, 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 I kind of saved this for you. <laughs> that's so sweet. So dirty. <laughs> Ed, I had no idea you played so well. Oh, I've only been playing the piano five days. Days. That's right. I started five. First time I ever played the piano was when I hurt my hand at rehearsal five days ago. You re there's the lump there. You remember when the doctor bandaged my hand? Yeah. Well, that's how it started. I was only kidding. I said, Doctor, when I take off this bandage, will I be able to play the piano? And he said, Yes. That's all uh I. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, say, Dinah, I have a thought. I think that a show of this kind should every now and then have a little bit of nostalgia. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, it's a song which appeals to me, and I know it belongs to you. Will you sing, uh, I know you know it, uh, uh, Shine On Harvest Moon? Oh, I'd love to. Would you? Oh, it's one of my favorite songs. All right. I'd love to. I'd love to, I love that song. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't you going to play it? Yes, I'm not doing anything yet. <laughs> Uh, what key would you uh, want? Oh, two flats, I think. If I have the key, I can play in any flat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> two flats. Two flats. <laughs> In the sky, I had no love since January, February, June, or July. It's no time, ain't no time to sit outdoors. No idea you were such a good musician. Oh, I made my debut in the theater as a musician. Really? I was eight years of age. My folks made a big mistake. They brought me from Philadelphia and they put me on a Carnegie Hall playing the violin. Oh. The hall was, and right in the middle of a violin concerto, the whole audience got up and walked out into the street. 
Oh, that. So oh. I went out in the street and played the violin and chased them all back in the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Harry Truman taught me that. <laughs> I have it. Oh, don't fall. Wait a minute. Well, this is all impromptu. I'm sorry. It happened so fast. Yes. Uh, look here. Uh, did you have any requests? Oh, um, somebody asked me to sing T for two. Somebody? You mean George? Yes. <laughs> I know who asked you. Do you want to sing it? I'd love you to. You mean? That's the one. Yeah, well, I don't know that, but I tell you what we did. <laughs> we, uh, the, uh, you know, when you, the, you perspire so, you know, that... The, <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> what key would you sing that in? What key, oh, what key would you sing that just in? Just give me a G note. If I had a G note, I wouldn't have taken this job. <laughs> no, I tell you, Mr. Glaskin, do me a favor, lad. I'm sure I don't know it, and I think it'd be much more graceful if you would have the boy accompany uh, Dinah. C for two in the key of G. I'll, I'll, you, you take the cue for me, right? Picture me upon your knee. Just T for two and two for T. Just me for you and you for me alone. No friends or relations on weekend vacations. We won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone, dear. Day will break and I'll awake and start to bake a sugar cake for you to take for all the boys to see we will raise a family a boy for you and a girl for me can't you see how happy we will be Spidell. Spidell. Rye Chris. <laughs> the Edwin Show will be seen again next week at the same time over the same station. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.